Booth.com. I'm down here with our partners at Two Old Hippies, which has uh, Fidel guitars, Breed Love guitars, and Weber mandolins. We're down here in E-Hall, which is just down the escalators. You can come down here and play all of their line of uh, Breed Love, or Fidel. We've got some awesome Weber mandolins down in here. Tons of really cool wood. We've got Myrtle wood over here. We've got some cool Coca Bolas there, Cody. All kinds of things to come in and play. And it's really neat because you can actually test all these guitars right next to each other. You might not get a chance to do that in your local guitar shop. You can really figure out exactly what you're after in that one. Um, we got two local booths going on here. One of them is being used as a demo room over here. We have an 8x8 gold series. And then here we have a 12x12 gold series that's being used for profiling wood and showing how uh, how they do that. We're going to step inside and I'm going to show you really quickly what goes into the process of selecting the wood here for a, uh, for a guitar. This is Sean here from uh, Vidal Guitars. And he's going to show us exactly what's going on in here. We got a bunch of woods, and uh, we've also got some cool squiggly lines going on up in there, which you guys probably know a little bit more about it than, than yeah. me. So why don't we start from there and just kind of take me through what's going on. Sure. These squiggly lines help us figure out uh, the magic that makes our guitar so, so fun to play. Over here, we'll take a back set, and here we have our top sets. And we can use this microphone, analyze its fundamental frequencies, and find out exactly what size this guitar should be. We can find out how to best match it to a certain uh, wood species on the back and sides. Mm -hmm. and we can also determine whether we need to take material off of the wood to really release the full music potential of the instrument. Excellent. Now, if you've ever gotten to just go ahead and go into a guitar shop that has a lot of different guitars uh, side by side, do definitely check it out because Rosewood um, on one guitar can sound totally different from Rosewood on another guitar. Exactly what he's saying, you know, profiling of the species, profiling of that specific tree, even, you know, who, uh, what tree that came from and what the grain lines are like in it. I mean, uh, two guitars with exactly the same wood can sound entirely different. That's why, you know, get your hands on an acoustic instrument for sure. And then what have we got going on over here? Over here, this is the second portion where we uh, we will start to tap the top, and oh, we, we can see the lines moving. Yep, yeah. and we will remove material from the bracing to make sure that in between all of the braces, we're getting a consistent tone across the top of the guitar. This is something that is ordinarily only done by guys building ten or twelve guitars a year. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, we're the only company that's really going after tuning each and every top. Each and every top. Yeah. Awesome. And is that on the, the mainly on the Bedell line? Or are you That's doing... on the Bedell line. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, we've got a couple guitars here that we're just going to try out. And so you can kind of hear the differences in the woods. Sean, why don't you set me up with uh, one of them there really quick. Sure. Here, this is a uh, uh, Breedlove Concerto. The Concerto, this particular one is all mahogany. Yep. You can see the back matches the front there. And this is, uh, this is going to be a large bodied guitar, uh, similar to a Dreadnought but uh, we've changed a few things about it to make it much more comfortable to play. Mm -hmm. But inside the, uh, inside the box, there's as much air volume as you would find in Dreadnought. Oh yeah, you can feel when you tap that top, you can definitely, it's got some reverb to it. So, mahogany, um, for me, it always seems like kind of a little, a nice mellow, balanced wood. Got some nice deep tones in there. It doesn't sacrifice on the top end though. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say this would be a good all-around kind of really a good a good workhorse guitar for sure. Very nice. Awesome. All right, what else do we got? So next we have a Bedell Revolution. Ooh, this is a parlor size guitar. Look at the back on that one. And this is a guitar that's really interesting because with our ability to sound profile guitars, we have made this Coca-Bola guitar extremely musical. Mm. It's getting a huge sound from a smaller body. I know yeah. a lot of people are looking for that smaller, smaller guitar for maybe... It's, it's, it's nice to play and is, be very comfortable. Still got a nice big, you know, a, a good comfortable neck on it and stuff, so the whole guitar is not obviously a, a, a smaller one. But uh, let's, let's see how that sounds, just an A beat with... Nice 
little snap and punch from the top on that one. You can maybe see it you know, sounds a little, a little more in the high range there too. A little, a little, a little brighter, a good little barky guitar. Yeah, that's a big sound from a little guitar. You probably can't tell, you know, going through the uh, Facebook Live there, but uh, maybe if you hear them both together. Again, that's a smaller body type, uh, different woods on that one, lots of bark, lots of bite with that one. So, uh, you know, get down, check them out, and play them side by side. So, very cool. Thanks for letting me play those ones. Uh, they also do uh, some beautiful mandolins. Again, I am really not a mandolin player, so uh, I won't... Um, uh, offend anybody by trying to play this beautiful instrument. But uh, come on down, check those ones out too, Weber mandolins. Um, thanks again for Two Old Hippies. Uh, we're all from uh, Bend, Oregon, and so that makes a really good partnership with us. And also we are guitar nuts as well, and, uh, and uh, so are they. That's what they do best. So again, you can check them out. They got all their brands, um, the Bedell guitars, Free Love guitars, and Weber mandolins. We'll go ahead and we'll put links to them in this comment section. And uh, you can find out more about Vocal Booth at vocalbooth.com. Thanks again. I'm Freddie.